You are not listening to this message by chance or mistake, but by the grace of God. We preach the gospel to the masses and help gear up everyone with the word of truth, the Bible. Please stay tuned and I pray the grace of God fall upon you as you listen. Amen. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day. This is GRM, Gospel Revelation Ministry. Welcome to Gospel Revelation Ministry this Monday. We focus on spreading the Word of God, addressing worldly topics biblically. You can learn more about this ministry at grministry.org. I am your host, Yinka Martins, and this ministry's pastor is Pastor Joshua at J. Wally. Good day, people of God. Gospel Revelation Ministry. We're starting a new series where we invite guest speakers and guest preacher to improve the spreading of the gospel. Today, we are going to start with our Pastor James David Adeoti. He is a general overseer of Christ. Pentecostal Evangelical Mission in the Cotton Lagos, Nigeria. He has been in the ministry for a long while and is a member, a trustee of the Gospel Revelation Ministry. And I'm sure you are going to be blessed today. Thank you. Brethren, today's topic is the consciousness of accountability. Our Bible text will be taken from the book of Romans chapter 14, verse 12. Scripture says, So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Praise the Lord. And likewise, the book of First Peter chapter 4, verse 5 says, Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Now, considering the topic that we are teaching about, the consciousness of accountability. The consciousness of accountability imparts caution to life action. And one major reason why people live anyhow is because they are not conscious of their accountability to God. For instance, in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14, Scripture says, for God shall bring every walk into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So it is lack of consciousness of accountability that make people misbehave or live their life anyhow or appear in a unruly way or live a sinful and carefree life. Today, we see people appearing in such a way that will make other believers uncomfortable. You see people doing things that does not glorify God. You see people doing such. Please know that you will give account to God if you position yourself in church as an instrument of sin especially for people who run away from sins of the world, to now encounter you in the church and fall into sin. Ah, beloved, <laughs> such person must definitely give account of himself because the church of Jesus is a place where sinners are received, where sinners are saved, where men that are rescued from sin are all are good. Now, it will be more distrustful for people to come to a place of rescue and now find themselves back in their sins, back in their trouble. They are now falling again as a result of somebody's lifestyle, as a result of somebody's unholy life, as a result of somebody's unrighteous approach to things. No, it shouldn't be. We must carry the consciousness of the fact that we are going to give accounts of our lives. If, for instance, you are a businessman 
And all that you are doing with other brethren, with other believers, is to make them fall out of grace. Beloved, you're going to give account. There's no doubt about that. The scripture has said it. He said in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 5, he said we are going to give account of our life, of our ways before God, before the righteous judge, before whom who will judge the living and the dead. Let's read it again. Book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 5. He said, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Who are the quick? The quick are those who are still alive. And it's going to judge those who are dead. It's going to judge everybody. And it's going to judge us based on the works of our hands. If you remember what the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 14 that we read. Scripture says, and I read, For God shall bring every work into judgment. Every work means the work of both the quick, the living, and the dead. It's going to bring every work to judgment and everything that is secret. Whether it be good or whether it be bad, there's going to be accountability. How you manage your times and life on earth, there's going to be account. You are going to account for it. Everybody must know. Many of us don't carry this consciousness and that's why we live our life anyhow. Behold, you are going to give account of all the grace that God has given unto you. The grace to walk uprightly. The grace to do the will of God. The grace to touch lives. The grace to bring many from darkness into the glorious light of the gospel. God is going to ensure that we all give account of everything he has given unto us. Everything including your breath, your times, your potential, your ability, the virtues of grace that God has bestowed upon you. You are going to give account of it. Either it is good or it is bad. Maybe you are a doctor or you are a nurse. Beloved, who specializes in aborting unborn babies for people. God will ask you one day, how you got a license to take another person's life? Brethren, the consciousness of accountability is the key to living right. The key to live a good and a meaningful life is the consciousness of your accountability. Always know that you will stand before God one day to give account of how you lived your life, how you run your journey. Beloved, the summary is this. Very, very important. Always live in the consciousness of accountability to God. And make up your mind to live right by the grace that God has given unto you. I pray for you that wherever you are, the grace to live in the consciousness of you, giving account of your life, that grace God will give unto you. Don't forget, according to where we read earlier in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 14, he said here, For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be bad. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity to bring your word. We have heard the importance of taking accountability of our times, of our life, of everything that you have given unto us. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to live pure and righteous before you, to do the good will that you have enabled us. Father, we ask that you give us grace never to be stumbling block to anyone on earth. We pray, Lord, that our action will lead people to you instead of leading many from you. That you will help us to be who you have destined us to be. That our life will be a blessing and not a regret to humanity. Thank you, precious Father. We pray that you help us to live each day of our life in consonance with your word, in agreement with your goodwill. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Once again, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2 say, We then, as a worker together, with him who are pleased with you, not to receive grace of God in vain. For he says, In an accepted time I will hear you. 
and in the day of salvation I will help you. Behold, today is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. Brethren, you have not known God. People who have not known God, you are hearing my voice today. I'm telling you, behold, this is the accepted time. Behold, this is the day of salvation. Pray this simple prayer for me. Lord, I may sin now forgive me. Forgive me. I confess my sin. I accept you, Jesus God, the Lord, my Savior. If you can do that, not from your mouth, from, from your hearts, God will hear your prayer. And God will wipe out all your sin. Confess your sin from your heart. Ask for forgiveness. Take Jesus Christ as a Lord, your Savior. After you have done that, go to a Bible-believing church. Bible-believing church. Tell the pastor that you have given your life to God. And let them baptize you in martial baptism. After that, pray for the power of Holy Spirit. When you receive the power of Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit fall upon you, then you are a born again Christian and you are safe. Thank you for listening to today's message. If you'd like to learn more about this ministry, please visit grministry.org or call us on plus one six one seven four four nine zero six four six. To support this ministry, you can subscribe and follow our channel or give at grministry.org slash support. Stay blessed.